Hello my dear students. Welcome to teacher at home. Today class we are going to have the introduction to chemistry. Okay. Till 5th standard you are studying only EVS or science subject. But from 6th onwards this science or environmental science has been classified into three branches. So we can start studying. Okay. But then uh, we can, uh, what is science? Science actually means what? Study of living, non-living and whatever the creatures that is been seen in the universe. All comes under science. This science yeah, it comes from the Latin word which means knowledge. Okay. Then this science, branch of science, it is been classified. This is the branch of science that is being classified into three. What are they? They are the physics, chemistry and biology. This biology has been again been classified into two. It is zoology and botany. Zoology as we know it deals with the study of animals. Botany it deals with the study of plants. So you all now understood no? That is Science is being uh, classified into three types. They are the physics. It deals with the measurements. Okay, whatever the measurements, units, everything will come under the physics. Then under the chemistry, that is many chemical reactions and various process that is being taking place in our body and also outside. It comes under reactions, comes under what? Chemistry. Okay. Then talking about the biology, which is again being classified into what two types. Zoology as the name itself indicate what a study of animals. Then about talking about botany, it deals with the study of plants. Okay, have you understood everything? Then coming under chemistry, we as we said all, uh, earlier, what it deals with the study of structure, composition, then changes, changes means whatever the changes that is taking place in our surroundings and also the properties of substance. Then what only it includes properties of substance means their physical property. Dealing with the physical property, when we are assessing one substance, what the first uh, thing we, what we see, we'll see color. Yeah. Then, uh, then state, on what state it is appearing, whether it is in the liquid, solid or on the gaseous state then the taste is it sweet bitter or so then order it is having a pleasant smell or unpleasant then solubility whether it is soluble in water alcohol or any other substances then now let's study the branches of chemistry chemistry again is being classified into many branches we can study one by one First, talking about the branches, direct branches, what are they? It is analytical chemistry, biochemistry, inorganic, deals with the carbon compounds, organic compounds, then physical chemistry. Okay, under the physical chemistry, it is being again been classified into what? Electrochemistry, surface chemistry. I had written only the short forms. Okay, chemistry, it is not included in well, that is it is not written in everything just see here ditto ditto here ditto mark it is be given okay this all is what chemistry analytical bio inorganic organic and physical again this physical chemistry it is being classified into sub branches what are they they are the electrochemistry surface chemistry then chemical kinetics Quantum chemistry, thermodynamic, thermochemistry, photochemistry, and spectroscopy. See, when we are having our graduation, in the PG level we are studying it is as individual. Individual uh, subjects will be there for each, each of these chemistry branches. Okay. Then talking about the basic of chemistry. What are the things? What are the things we should know when we start to learn chemistry? They are the elements. What are elements? That is the substance which occur naturally. Okay. Hydrogen, oxygen, everything which is occurring 
naturally we are getting oxygen directly from the atmosphere then talking about this compounds compounds means when these elements combine together in a fixed proportion we get what compounds these are the words we should keep in our mind okay then talking about matter that is what is matter everything in the universe includes matter that is anything having mass when we are placing something which is having which is occupying a space that is pen pencil table everything bottle laptop everything that is which is occupying space and having the mass a fixed mass comes under the category of matter so we can start studying individually okay first is about the analytical chemistry analytical chemistry what it does it deals with we already studied about the matter that is anything which occupies space and having mass it is called as matter then talking about this analytical chemistry that is many process communicating information about composition and structure that is everything whatever the process that is being going on in a, in a reaction becomes under the analytical that is what are we studying in analytical means a process communicate information that is uh, what are the matter it is been made up of that information it is coming under the analytical chemistry just we have to learn what is it is included not in details because you are only in sixth standard okay only the basics you want to learn then second one is the biochemistry talking about the biochemistry it is actually the study of the chemical bio bio what is mean by bio bio means living okay the chemistry which is involved in the living organism that is the chemical process whatever the chemical process that is been taking place inside our body comes under the biochemistry then next one next one is the inorganic chemistry in organic chemistry the word itself deals what that is uh, apart from the carbon compounds the study of the synthetic reactions structure their properties of compounds and elements non living matter materials what are the non living materials that is rock soil everything it come under the non living materials okay so inorganic means study of the synthetic reactions what is the study what are the study which involves their structure see if you are studying any compound or elements first we have to learn from where it originates who invented it whatever the chemical reactions that is a chemical reaction involves what when it reacts with the heat light that is in temperature variation etc okay then next is the organic chemistry organic chemistry it involves that is what all the uh, process that is taking place in the preparation reaction and composition of the carbon compounds that is been present in the living things constitute what organic chemistry then fifth one is uh, physical chemistry physical chemistry as you know it is a relation between the the word itself indicates what the physical properties of substances not only the chemical properties but all the physical properties physical properties in the first we have learned no the first starting of the lesson what it, it deals with deals with the order shape color everything comes under what physical chemistry then alchemy it is a word from that originates the chemistry okay alchemy means fermentation of fermentation process that is alchemists are the scientists who is studying the uh, chemical reactions and every process that is iron it has been in the first all in the first century every uh, they were using only what iron made equipments that is uh, that has to be transformed into what gold through various chemical process philosopher stone this is given in your text okay alchemists that is the base metals they started uh, observing the metals at it, uh, under various process under heating that is iron when kept out, uh, outside what it happens iron oxide rusting of iron will happen this iron is been transferred into gold through uh, what they are mistaken as gold that is the philosopher stone it has been referred to as what philosopher stone four elements that made the earth what are the elements that made the earth it involves what air earth fire and water without this we cannot live then talking about the sulfur 
sulfur it is element which when combines with burns with oxygen it results in the formation of sulfur dioxide these are the reactions that is given in your text just you go through that okay then magnetic oxide it prevent the rusting so when iron it is being coated with magnetic oxide the rusting does not occur okay that is the process which it is work, uh, working this phenomenon it is working on where uttam minar it is also an iron pillar but it is not rusting easily why it is that iron oxide that is magnetic oxide it is being coated there it prevents what he, heating quenching then next is the importance of chemistry what is the importance of chemistry that is it is the central science le uh, it is the center of science science includes what physics chemistry and biology then this chemistry it is known as the center of science see here in the center what it is been written it is written chemistry okay this is chemistry the surrounding it is what engineering then biology manufacturing geology economics and medicine everything it is in been included that is chemistry it is been included in everything then and uh, talking about the preservatives sir Preserve, uh, preservatives what it, what it involves prevent the growth of uh, that is when we are adding the preservatives it prevent the growth of prevent the growth of what prevent the growth of microorganisms if we if we are not adding preservatives we cannot store the food materials food materials in, in the sense means not we are preparing in the home we are uh, that is when we are buying something or when we are preserving a food item for a long time pickle and all if you are keeping for a long time what we are adding we are adding salt and uh, and also the uh, and also uh, certain powders in order to prevent from what growth of microorganism that is this preservatives we are adding in natural and also by chemical method in the natural method natural in the sense i had told that salt sugar and spice these are the natural preservatives being used and also the chemical preservatives in it include the sodium benzoate citric acid sulfur dioxide etc then talking about the structure that is chemistry it is been again been uh, subdivided that is fertilizer it is been used as a fertilizer communication transport then chemistry it is used in recreation preservatives luxuries health pesticides and also what buildings okay then it is also used as in food products cloth garments natural defense natural defense that is the chemistry it is being used in various fields what all is it? it is used as a fertilizer in health okay in fertilizer we are using many type of uh, pesticides insecticide that is being made up of part the chemicals main ingredient it is chemicals then in transport means the uh, that is on which it is made up of that is the bus the body it is being made up of aluminum sheets uh, and uh, for communications that is mobile what we are using is that inside it is battery everything it is being made, uh, made up of what chemicals so in everything it is included the chemical compounds and in it it is also used in health the pesticide buildings that is cement okay each it is been given separately then food products cloth and garments national defense everything it is been included then talking about the abbreviation that is uh, certain short forms are been used in chemistry what is that pvc polyvinyl chloride then npk polyvinyl chloride that is it is included under the category of plastics plastics subdivisions included pvc the npk as we have told that uh, fertilizer that is npk means nitrogen phosphorus and potassium bhc means benzene hexachloride likewise chemistry it is been used in various resources the next to include the introduction to chemistry it is the cfc cfc that is it is uh, abbreviation abbreviation what is that 
CFC means chlorofluorocarbon. Okay, now then DDT. As the name itself indicates that dichloro diphenyl trichloroethane. CFC means chlorofluorocarbon and DDT means dichloro diphenyl trichloroethane. This you have to study. That is repeatedly reading only you will be able to understand. As you are studying only in 6th standard, this forms to be difficult to grasp. So, you have to repeatedly read this. Okay. Then LST, lysergic acid diethylamide, RDX rapid detonating explosive, TNT, trinitrotoluene. Then talking about the agriculture, that is the use of chemical compounds, it is being mainly used. What is, how is the chemicals? Uh, it is uh, added to the agriculture. How? Through the, in the form of the fertilizer. That is, what is the main purpose of the fertilizer? It increases the fertility of the soil. That is, when we are adding, if uh, the soil it is not rich in nitrogen or any other compounds, or uh, if the alkalinity it is low, acidity it is high, in order to neutralize that, we are using the fertilizer. That is, the fertility of the soil it is being improved. Then, superphosphate, talking about the superphosphate, urea and NPK. Insecticide, what are the substance that is come under insecticide? That it involves the BHC, benzene hexachloride, DDT. DDT as a name first. Dichlorodiphenyl trichloroethane. It comes under what? It comes under DDT. Then nicotine. These are the substances that is being included in what? It is included in? Uh, it is included in the insecticides. Then next is the? Fungicide, it is the destroy the fungus. That is, any fungus being present in the soil, it will destroy. It includes the copper sulfate pentahydrate, hexachlorobenzene. These are the names you have to note it down. Next one is the herbicide, killing the weeds which grow along with the crops. That is, if we are growing crops, we can see many type of weeds will be present there. So, in order to compensate that, in order to kill that, we are giving a sufficient, uh, an additional substance that is the herbicide which kills the weeds which is being present in the crops. That is glyphosate and simacin. Then next, what is the chemicals being included in the food? How it is the chemicals uh, that is affects the food or what is the use of chemicals in the food? Properties of food, that is in the flavor, it, uh, some substances are used to increase the flavor of the food. Then smell, color, preservative. Food obtained by refined oils, that is oil we are using, butter, cheese. What are the, it is included, that is um, the, all the substance being refined. Many process has to be done in order to refine the oil, in order to produce butter, cheese, everything. Okay. Then this refined substances has to be preserved. For that, we are using many preservatives. One such preservative, it is the adding of the salt to add to pickle. Then canning food preservatives. What are the process that is involved in food preservatives? Canning, freezing, drying, fermenting and pickling. These are the process that is included in the preservative. Then also it is used in medicine, sir. What are the medicines it involved? Antiseptics, disinfectants, curing patients. That is when we are having one fever, so, uh, fever something, we are using paracetamol or aspirin. How, how it affects? It contains the substance, uh, substance or the elements that uh, it is being bound to the receptors. That is when we are feeling hot, our body is raising temperature. Temperature in the sense, some organs will be affected. Okay, some organs will be having any infections. Only uh, after that we are having what? We are having fever. So in order to reduce the temperature, we are using what? Antipyretics. And uh, in order to low down, low down our fever, we use antibiotics. These all are chemicals. That is the substance involved in it is. It is actually chemicals. Disinfectants and curing uh, patients. Then in coming under the introduction of the chemistry, what are the substances? That is, it involves a chemicals. We know that everything involves a chemicals. What uh, we are doing in order to check our body, bo uh, body 
that is it is whether it is having the normal temperature and where everything it is in the perfect ratio we are doing many test and was one such artificial sweetener used it is the aspartate okay glucose is a sweetener so artificially made sweetener is aspartate then kelva synthetic chemical bulletproof chemicals so it is a substance that is uh, used for making what bulletproof materials kelva polyacrylic as i had told that the plastic it is a division the uh, plastic it is a substance that is been classified as kelvar polyacrylic acid that is baby diapers baby diapers it is made made up of polyacrylic acid then polymer it absorbs a lot of water and spell so when it is absorbing that is any any one any polymer it is absorbing water it what it results it results in the swelling up of swelling up of that substance cosmetics cosmetics that is in the manufacturing of the cosmetics various chemicals are used it enhances or alter the appearance or fragrance of the body uh, what when we are using the uh, what is the property of cosmetic means it will enhance enhance the what enhance uh, smell that is talcum powder what is the main so it is having a pleasant smell talcum talcum what it is made up of it is been made up of the chemicals included what magnesium silicon and oxygen okay what uh, for what purpose i am saying this is that is everything chemicals that is used in blood test it is used in diapers bulletproof materials everything what it is involved it is the involved uh, involvement of chemicals okay in one way or another then talking about the petroleum we know what petroleum sub substituents includes what kerosene wax and perfumes then clothing bleach dyed and printed whatever the clothes we are using it is having various various printed that is various uh, uh, things are been printed on it uh, flowers for that what we are using bleach dye and also the print up natural fibers naturally also we are getting many fibers that is the cotton wool and silk it is the natural fiber being used up and for clothing what we are using we are bleaching that dyeing that and also been printed that is it is cloth is it is been bleached dyed and printed natural fibers include cotton wool and silk and synthetic fibers synthetic fibers include nylon nylon decran orlon and terlinus these are the synthetic fibers being used then for recreation that is cinema films then fireworks are uh, we are what we are using we are using the chemicals for recreation works also we are using chemicals transport as i had already uh, told that is its body vehicle body car bus everything aeroplane uh, we are using what duralumin is a substance which is used for the maintaining for making the body of aeroplane so this is what this is uh, these are all chemicals then carbon fiber it is also chemical okay when next we talk about the some chemist and their discovery so many chemist are been involved that is in order to so a substance to grow like substance or a subject to grow what we need it is many are uh, discoveries inventions has to be made so many chemist arrive one uh, we can learn one by one first one is the uh, john dalton john dalton okay john dalton introduced the atomic theory of matter the first and foremost thing we have to note in our mind it is talking about chemistry it is the atoms what are atoms they are the indivisible part of the matter okay particles that cannot be divided that is called atoms and john dalton through his atomic theory explained about what atoms then next step, uh, chemistry is the berzelius berzelius it is uh, laid the found uh, invention of sili silicon selenium and thorium these are the elements that is invented by berzelius then talking about the joseph priestley joseph priestley the well known chemist who invented oxygen carbon dioxide hcl nitrogen and ammonia 
that is through the various uh, reactions they found out the gas that is been present which help the chemical process to undergo that are the the oxygens antonio lavoisier father of modern chemistry so lavoisier is known as what father of modern chemistry oxygen what is the main purpose or main uh, theme that is involved in the uh, invention of oxygen it is helps in the combustion and also for breathing so oxygen is the main constituent for breathing and also in combustion then the second gas it is found out it is the azote nitrogen henry cavendish cavendish discovered the hydrogen gas 2h plus o gives h2o that is the reaction what is h2o h2o h2 means water okay two hydrogen and one oxygen combine together to form water next about the ns rutherford ns rutherford what he did atomic nucleus atomic nucleus is discovered by ns rutherford louis pasteur this all we have learned in the small classes pasteur pasteurization okay milk turning into curd that is uh, with the help of the lactobacillus what for um, pasteurization process is been occurring then uh, vaccine for rabies anthrax everything who founded louis pasteur founded talking about henry mosley mosley what he invented the modern periodic table mary curie mary curie we know that is the radioactive substances were discovered by mary curie what he discovered is the radium and polonium that is the radioactive elements radium and polonium discovered by mary curie then next is the mendeleev mendeleev what we have heard about mendeleev le what is the from where we heard about that we are seen the periodic table periodic table discovered by mendeleev mendeleev's periodic table then finally we reach the conclusion part of this uh, introduction to chemistry what is that many apparatus you should be aware of the apparatus that is being used in the chemistry what are the apparatus that is being used first one is the test tube everyone is familiar with the test tube this is the test tube then beaker on which we are adding water and boiling not only water every chemicals we are adding in the beaker and boiling tripod stand this is the stand on which we are heating a beaker or a test tube okay then funnel to which we are adding substances wire gas wire gas is a thing that is placed here okay on the tripod stand we are placing wire gas above it we are keeping beaker filter paper to filter the substance tongs retort then china dish see here this is the china dish on which we are uh, adding what chemical what uh, what we are adding chemicals okay powder powder form we are adding in the china dish spatula it is a spoon type delivery tubes gas jar glass rod pipette capillary tube measuring cylinder then what thermometer in order to find the temperature okay so we, uh, these are the substances uh, main substances that is there uh, or main apparatus that is used in the chemistry lab so also uh, you should be aware of these things okay by seeing the figure itself you will be able to identify substance that is in the chemistry lab this is the pipette in order to uh, uh, suck uh, suck the what suck the substance and we are adding into the beaker okay so that's all about this chapter if you have very well understood this please do subscribe share and like my channel okay thank you students